What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Landscape. In today's video, we're going to talk to you guys about lawn signs. Now I've been doing lawn signs, trying to advertise for my business since day one. So just like myself and just like my business, our lawn signs have progressed exponentially. But we still have some work I think we can do. Um, I just got some made, they're in a box right there, haven't even taken them out yet. So I'm gonna share those with you guys and also get my first impressions on how I thought they came out. But I tried something a little different this year and in this video, we're gonna dive into everything I've learned over the past seven years regarding lawn signs. Now real quick, before we get too far into this, I wanna give you guys a little bit of background on myself and my business. So I've been in business for about seven years, like I said, um, and we do lawn care and landscaping. We do a little bit of excavating, things like that. So we're pretty much outside all the time, or we are outside all the time, so it works out really nicely for us when we complete a project, we can stick one of our lawn signs in there and we instantly have a happy reference. If they're not happy, for one, they may not pay you. For two, they're definitely not gonna let you sit a sign in their yard um, and we will not leave a project unless the customer's happy. So when you leave a project and you can stick a sign in that yard, and like I said, you have an instant reference. One of the neighbors can just go walk, knock on, knock on their door, ask them what they thought of the project, what they thought of the contractor, you know, what they thought of the company. Um, or chances are they know their neighbor and they're just gonna call them up and say, hey, what'd you think of you know, Nick and Lawn and Landscape? Should we hire them? They're gonna go, yes, you should. You know, it's kind of one of those things. It's a domino effect, um, especially for us doing outside work, guys doing pools, fences, things of that nature, um, concrete, you know, if you're doing any of that kind of stuff, pressure washing, uh, roofing, window cleaning, gutters, anything you're doing outside that you can, you know, like I said, they, people can see you there working and then you stick a sign in the yard and right next to your sign up on the house or up on the landscape or if you just did sod or whatever, they can see your work. So it's instant, you know, like I said, they get a reference right away and they can see your work firsthand. So lawn signs for us guys doing contracting outside are really, really, really beneficial. If you're in one of those industries and you're not using lawn signs, you really need to pay attention to this video. So as you guys and girls can imagine, being in business for seven years, we have changed a lot. I've changed a lot personally. Um, we've changed our direction of the business. We've changed our services of the business. Pretty much everything has changed. So we have had to create new lawn signs but I've wanted to. Um, you know, starting out in business, I didn't know much. I didn't know anything about lawn signs. I didn't know anything. So starting all this out, trying, trying to build it, and whenever we first started out, we wanted to be a strictly landscaping company. Um, I found out very quickly that that did not work, that we needed to mow lawns, we needed consistent work every week to pay the bills to make the money, you know? And, and then when the landscaping jobs came in, it was great, but you still had that mowing to fall back on. So I quickly jumped right into the mowing game. I was not, um, I was not so proud that I was gonna stick to my business plan and fail as a business. That was not an option for me. I was 100% satisfied on making it work. If I would've had to clean toilets to make it work, I would've cleaned toilets to make it work. I'm not even joking. I would pick up any job possible that would pay me. If I was sitting at home, I would go do a job for $50. I didn't even care if it took me two hours. If it was more money than I was gonna make sitting at home, that's what I did. Now, I'm way different now, don't get me wrong, but whenever I was a young kid, I did not care. I was gonna make it work one way or the other. So, we quickly jumped into lawn care, um, and my first lawn signs were actually advertising lawn care. Uh, once we started getting out in, in the world a little bit and meeting a few people, doing a few jobs, um, I realized that it wasn't just gonna start itself, that I needed to start pushing things. So that's when I got some shirts made. Um, I got my first lawn signs made that you guys are gonna see here in a minute, but you'll see when I show you guys these signs how much we have progressed as a business and how much our lawn sign designs have progressed, and I'm gonna explain to you exactly why that has worked for us. All right, so real quick, before you guys see my horrible designs, I wanna show you these and show you that I have learned a little something. This is one of our newest ones for this year. And this is another one. All right, now let's go check out these old signs. All right, excuse the shop, it's a little messy out here, guys, but here you have it. Here is our history of signs right here. This big guy was on the back of our mowing trailer at one point, uh, but this one right here, that one centered right there, that was the first lawn sign that we ever got made and as you can tell no logo no thought process really i wanted people to know that i could cut their grass and i wanted them to have my phone number 
So that's where that one came about. Um, and I kind of blame it on the guy who made them for me. He did not try to push me and make it a little nicer or anything like that. He's like, okay, sounds good. And took my money and ran. So same guy made these two. And just look at that second one. Like look, mowing, edging, trimming. Like that's all the same thing. I didn't know what I was doing, guys. Clean up, landscaping, leaf removal, pressure washing, seeding, fertilizing. And then we progress down this way. This one did pretty good for me. Landscaping, mowing, clean up, free estimates. I ended up getting a lot of work off of that guy there. That's when it kind of really started to roll for me. Um, I think it was about the same time I got those made that I got the got leaves made. Uh, I put those, you can see there's holes up in the corner on these ones. I had that screwed on to my leaf trailer, on my first leaf trailer. Um, that did good for me too. Uh, leaves have always been good for us. I don't know, it's just been kind of easy for us to stay busy with leaves. I don't, I'm not really sure why, but then you move down here. Okay, this is where we're going to start talking, guys. This is, you can see what's going on up here, and you can kind of see what I'm getting ready to tell you from down here. This sign right here is the worst sign I've ever made. It's got all the good stuff on there. It's, it's nice, it's detailed, it's thought out, but look at this. I'm only 10 feet away, and you can't even read the stuff. Let's step back here where well, someone sees the rain, guys. It's getting ready to pour. I can feel it. I'm going to talk a little bit louder. Um, but from right here, you cannot even read that sign, guys. So I started to learn after that on this one. On that guy, I realized that was junk. I never even really used it. I used a couple of them, never got any calls off it. Realized that was my fault. Then I went into this leaf removal one. And that one got me more calls than any of these combined, guys. I don't know if it's just the way it stood out. The time of year I put them out, I made sure to get them all on the highway. Um, I fought that sign out way more than I had ever thought any other sign out. And that one did really, really well for me. Pushing forward to this aeration and seeding sign, same way. Did very, very well for me. It stands out. Most people in this area are rocking white signs. So when someone sees one of these in the lawn, it really stands out, and that's why I went with black on these new ones. All right, ladies and gents, so now you saw my old signs, and you can definitely tell the progression of my business and just the progression of our design aspect of our signs. I'm gonna strongly recommend to you right now, if you're gonna pull anything away from this video, less is more. Do not overcrowd your yard sign. You're not gonna get any calls from it, I promise you. You may get a few, but if it's big, bold letters, you're gonna get way more calls than if it's small, hard to read letters. They gotta stop their car, get out of their car to see it, or just guess what it says. Make it big, bold, as plain as you possibly can for them to see. No one can miss it. Maybe not enough on your sign, like kind of like these are. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about these and why I think these are gonna be so successful, but less is definitely more. All right, so let's push forward to these. First, I'm gonna talk about this landscaping buy. So this is actually a metal sign, guys, with a decal put on front of it, just like you would on your truck. And with these, I got two of these. They're identical, and I've got a metal sign that folds into like an A, and you'll set it in the lawn while we're doing projects. You'll kind of see realtors use them or something. They set it by the driveway whenever they get there for an open house. They'll fold it open, set it down, and when they leave, they pick it up and take it with them. That's what we're doing with this. Every time we're on a job, if we're gonna be there for anything more than seven or eight hours probably, if it's a small job, we may not carry this around with us all the time just because it's gonna get beat up. But if it's a job and we're gonna be there for a day, two days, three days, four days, two weeks, this will be there every single day. Now, let's push on to the lawn sign that you're gonna see everywhere if you live in this area. And again, I talked one thing about these is that it was supposed to be black all the way to the edge. I'm not really sure why there's a white rim, but I honestly kind of like it. It, it. I don't know if it makes it stand out more or what, but I went with a dark sign again. Like I said, every, pretty much every lawn sign I've ever seen is white. And they're just, it's just a dime a dozen. You know, you drive down the road and oh look, another lawn sign. Oh look, another lawn sign. Like, you know what I mean? Especially during around here during election time for our mayor and all that, you know, all the different board, there is signs 
everywhere, like in every single yard, I'm not even joking, and they're all white. So I did a little bit of studying, and whenever I made those last signs, going with the red and black, kind of two-tone thing, whatever, they did it excellent. So I'm trying that again here. I'm trying to go black, and with these, I'm trying to just make them more simple. Those other ones, although they were simple for the aeration seating and the leaf removal one, they were simple, but they're still kind of busy with multiple colors. These, I'm just trying to really hit home. Like, you can't miss this. Like, if you can't read that, then you probably shouldn't be driving, unless you're driving really fast. But like in town, when you're driving 30 miles an hour, and you pass, glance over at this, you know, 10, 15 feet from the road, if you can't read that, then like I said, you probably should not be driving in the state. Somehow let you slip through and keep your license. So, as plain as you can possibly get, guys, and I think this is where it's really gonna hit home. And one other thing that I screwed up on, on I think it was the leaf removal signs, if you. Go back in this video just a hair. I forgot to touch on this whenever I was there, uh, but this is another huge thing. If you're gonna take away two things from this video, less is more is the first one. The second thing is do not put your number on the bottom. I did, unless it's huge, unless it's gonna be four inches, you know, and come way up here, but I put my number on the bottom on those leaf removal signs, and I had multiple people call me saying that they had to stop and get out of their car to check the number to give me a call. Now, I still got the job, don't get me wrong, but how many did I miss? How many people didn't get out of their car? You know what I'm saying? So do not put your number on the bottom. That's where I'm really testing this one. I want the first thing on the top of the sign to let them know what they're getting. What are you looking for? If you're looking for a paver patio, that's the first thing they're gonna read on this sign. You read from top to bottom, left to right. So they're gonna read paver patios. This is who I call and this is the company. That is all they need to know. If they need to know more, then they can look this up and look up Nick Lawn and Landscape on Google. You'll find enough stuff. So. This is all they need, literally. This is everything that they need. If they want to do further research, if they want to know, you know, for licensed and insured, if they want to know um, what our website is, what we do, where we're from, all that good stuff, then they're going to go digging. But if the average person driving by is like, oh, paver patio, I really want one of those, bam, they're going to call right now. And guess what? We just got another job. So when it comes to lawn signs, guys, less is more, and do not put your number on the bottom. And if I were you, I would stay away from white. And of course, always do double-sided, guys. Never do single-sided, you'll regret it. Trust me. And just FYI, if the place that you're looking to get your signs made by is looking to charge you $20, $25 a sign or something, stay away from them. You can get them so much cheaper than that. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I paid for these because it does vary everywhere, and I bought a lot of them. And then it's really gonna depend on the quantity. If you only want one or two, you're gonna be maybe paying the 20 25, maybe even 50, I don't know, you're gonna be paying more, but I got 50 of these, five zero. And my plan is to use 25 this year, keep 25 in the box. I'll probably use these 25 maybe this year, next year, I don't know. Once they start getting wore out, once they start getting stained and just not looking so hot, then those are gonna go in the trash and I'm gonna bust out those 25 new ones. So I bought 50 to get a better deal, knowing that I wasn't gonna use all of them right now. Uh, I could put 50 out, but I don't live in a big town, guys. If I put 50 out, it's gonna be a little crazy, so I probably shouldn't do that. I'm gonna spread these 25. I'm gonna shoot for probably eight to 10 per town, and I've got a few towns around me that I'm gonna set these up. So if you see one of these signs out and about, guys, snap a picture of it, tag me on Facebook. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was definitely a mouthful, but hopefully I got my point across. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. And of course, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, guys. You don't want to miss this stuff. I'll see you in the next one.